Fluff this, man. This is redonkulous. It seems I can't escape cartoons being copied and ripped off. But before I start this video, I need to put an end to a misconception that's been floating around on YouTube for years. This is not a ripoff. SpongeBob in China is a fan animated parody. YouTubers have been deceiving the public for years trying to pass this off as some sort of copy or ripoff what it is in fact a parody, which is completely okay. Sure, it may not be the most ethical and moral parody for us all to giggle at, but it still is a fan-made parody at the end of the day. However, today we'll focus on an actual copy. Ripoffs are the absolute fluffing worst thing on this planet. All these companies do is throw out all the creativity and intentionally copy someone else's idea change it up a bit, and rig their stupid characters in Microsoft Paint. But sometimes they don't even do as much as that. Just look at my last video of cheap copy of Gravity Falls. They didn't even go as far as to change the character's design to something original. The standards have been set so low it's laughable. Today's cartoon in question is Coconut Fred. My eyes are fluffing in pain. Whose idea was it to create an entire cartoon and upload it in 2040p resolution? It physically hurts me to look at this, and the animation isn't even the worst I've seen in terms of movement, but in quality. Cheese and rice, man. This cartoon is an American-Canadian comedy series that aired in 2005. Don't get me wrong, Coconut Fred's animation isn't the worst in terms of ripoffs. But the 240p resolution quality makes it fluffing shick. People don't watch ripoffs because they are original. They're watching it out of boredom. On first glance, it doesn't look like this is the most blatant ripoff of SpongeBob, correct? Well, take a look at this character's mannerisms and voice. Do you mean nearby? Absolutely. I could be your caddy. And bingo, can keep score! He sounds so much like SpongeBob. Not only that, but his mannerisms as well. In fact, I went ahead and put Coconut Fred's exact voice in Audacity, changed his pitch to make it higher, and listen to this. Absolutely. I could be your caddy. And bingo, can keep score! Tell me they weren't trying to be slick and copy SpongeBob's voice here. Or is this a coincidence? This character, named Mr. Green, is supposed to be a knockoff of Squidward. According to the scroll, one of us has to jump into the volcano. They even heard his character a lot on this cartoon, just like in SpongeBob. Oh, oh, choose me, choose me, oh, 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 choose me! Oh, oh, oh. Also, this show is inappropriate as heck. One of the episodes title is Sir Nuts A Lot. Now I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda funny, but still. Now I do commend the writers for throwing in so many references to real life game, but take a look at this scene from one of the episodes. Good morning, Fruit Salad Island! Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it! This seems very suspicious, but let's take a look at another clip just to make sure this isn't a coincidence. Are you ready, kids? No, they even use the seagulls from the fluffing SpongeBob intro. The seagulls, the freaking seagulls. Now, seagulls' voices are not copyrighted. It's a freaking animal, right? That's not copyrighted. But come on, how many coincidences are there? There are way too many. This has to be at least referencing SpongeBob. Oh, wise old tiki head. We have a Melvin. Can you tell us how to get rid of it? Oh, magic conch shell. What do we need to do to get out of the kelp forest? Yeah, someone's clearly copying homework, and I think we know who it is. <coughs> Fred? Is everything copied? Gosh, freaking darn it. This is either the most lucky show in terms of coincidences or the most blatant piece of doo-doo I've ever seen. The Magic Conch Shell is one of the OG episodes of Spongebob, and to see it clearly referenced screams laziness or copying. One can make the argument that these are all references, but what's the point of doing that if it isn't a parody? This is supposed to be an original show, so why the fluff are there so many references to one cartoon? That is unnecessary. Mother, can we watch Spongebob? No, Johnny. We have Spongebob at home. Spongebob at home. A 240p resolution cartoon. If I'm honest, I actually love seeing ripoffs. I do derive a guilty pleasure from seeing these things when no one is watching. Unfortunately, it's really hard viewing this cartoon because I'm not joking when I say it's actually painful for me to watch this low quality. 240p is just not watchable for me. Raw Paul, the man who voiced the main character, Coconut Fred, stated that he does not like voicing the character. 
Yikes. He said that it was nothing more than a shameless SpongeBob ripoff. Even one of the voice actors on the cartoon noticed that, hey, this is not original. Come on, this is blatant. Honestly, my hat goes off to Rob for admitting this. This is crazy. This cartoon actually had a lot of episodes. Usually ripoffs get cut off after the pilot because of the backlash from fans, but this ran for multiple episodes until it hit a five month hiatus. This kind of reminds me of the cartoon rap battles hiatus. Lamau. You see, it takes one to know one. I know a copy a mile away. Creator of SpongeBob, Stefan Hillenberg, was a marine science educator. SpongeBob SquarePants was a very layered show that came from real passion. Imagine studying super hard. You get your own show greenlit and gained a bunch of success from it. Just to be poorly referenced and borderline ripped off. I swear, no wonder the characters don't even resemble the art style and appearance of SpongeBob characters, like ripoffs usually do. At that point, a ton of lawsuits would probably happen instantaneously. Nickelodeon does not play around. So, what do you get from this video? What have I gotten from this video? Original work is my only authority! And coconut bread is a disgusting, greedy, nasty, cheap, copy and I don't want any of my time wasted watching this show. Some would say Coconut Fred has done more for the animation community because it at least gives us entertainment. No! Anyone who believes this show is original and that it doesn't spit in the face of hardworking creators is a fool. We expect to hear 100% honesty. We won't compromise on these ripoffs. They are used to trick your mind into thinking you're watching an original something that is not a parody. It's not a reference. These cartoons are brainwashing you. Trust in the original creator. Trust Trust in Alex Hirsch, trust in Gravity Falls, trust in SpongeBob, Stefan Hillenberg, trust in the original ideas, trust they will free you from unoriginality and temptations of horrible copies. These cartoons are not authentic, they will not comfort you. The networks are gonna break the generation of ripoffs one day that all mock us and it will no longer affect you. If you believe in my message, if you believe that ripoffs will one day cease to exist, then I say to you, I was over exaggerating. And that was completely unnecessary. Oh, whew. Man, am I sweating, man. But was I spinning facts, though? Was I spinning facts? Or was I just kind of trolling there? No, but seriously, though, ripoffs, yeah, they're kind of funny. I'm not even going to lie. Like, honestly, I would still go back and watch one of these episodes, like, references. It is kind of funny, though. As cheap as it was, it still is kind of funny, guys. So go get your guilty pleasure. I won't even judge you. Guys, I'm going to be doing a reaction to Cartoon Beatbox Battle. So my next video should be that. And I'm also going to be doing a reaction to a full episode of Go! But my Patreons and the people who join my channel will be able to see the full reaction of cartoon beatbox battle love you guys and i will see you guys later and remember take this video with a grain of salt